Okay, and we're back, and we're going to do another Foundations Draft. Hopefully this time we have a couple of removal spells or some kind of interaction. That way we don't just die to, like, one awesome utility creature that I can't interact with that never gets into combat. Or one giant doomsday creature that just outmuscles everything I'm doing. We started off strong today, and then just petered out at the end there for the first draft, so... Just have to do better. Which is a shame. We had everything else for, that the deck needed, so... It was just a matter of not having any interaction. To back up our, like, early game onslaught. Oh, hey, it's loot. Honestly, though, if I was going to take a green card, I think I'd take the spider before I take loot. And I'm not going to lie, I kind of think I'd take the spider. Like, if the spider were not here, I would take loot, but... And give him a try, but I don't think he's actually all that good by himself. And... I think the spider does a lot more. Like, I think six mana put two 1-1 one, one counters distributed on your creatures every single turn is a little bit stronger than trying to find a creature. Like, you have to have some real haymakers that loot can hit, and then they have to be in your deck, and you can't draw them randomly. I think I just take the spider. Ooh. Ooh, that is a potent one. That is super tempting. There is a second spider here and a snakeskin veil. But that is... That is an incredibly... potent card to offer me here. Yeah, okay. I, I, think, I'm, I think I'm down for that one. Now we have Tiny Bones. Ah, I love Tiny Bones. Like, the opponent has to play out all of their cards, or they have to hold stuff in their hand. Like, reactionary cards are just so bad against Tiny Bones. Uh, what am I losing out on? Apothecary Stomper? And that's about it for my green-white deck? Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll take Tiny Bones, we'll see what happens. <laughs> oh, that is that is an interesting offer. There's also Lalmor elves, and you know how much I love Lalmor elves. That is interesting, though. The problem is none of my other cards go with this thing at all. Um, I think I take the Lalmor Elves here, legitimately, but I could definitely see taking Rite of the Dragon Caller and trying to build a blue-red spells deck around that thing. Oh, we still got our second spider, so that seems pretty cool. <clears throat> Alright, we could go green-white, we could go green-black with what we have... <sighs> well, I think I'm inclined to take the Macabre Waltz and slide this down now. Alright, I will take a Fake Your Own Death now over the Swift Foot Boots and the Quick Draw Katana. Then there's nothing in this pack. Huh. Alright, uh, take a Gorehorn Raider then. The rest of the pack seems to be, like, nothing worth having. Take the Bolt Wave, try and wheel the Mythic Enchantment. Think twice, clink whip mage. Alright. I mean, none of these are bad so far. 
I think right now my red green looks better than my red black. Despite tiny bones. Like tiny bones you can play around discarding a land or two and then getting your spells out of your hand. Or just killing tiny bones. Like all of that works. So But he's really strong against reactive spells that don't currently have good targets. Like, he basically forces your opponent to use removal on him so that he can't steal the removal spell and use it against them later on. <sighs> want a Soul Shackle Zombie, or do I just want the Firebrand? I think I just want the Firebrand. Alright. Yeah, it looks like red-green over... black-green or... Um... Black red. Uh, it is a burglar rat now for tiny bones. Um, Prowler's whatever. There's a Sky Knight Squire if I wanted to try to backdoor into this thing again, but I don't think that's quite worth it. I could grab the Juggernaut and just grab a colorless card. Honestly, though, we only have the loud... We have, like, our green cards are crazy good. <laughs> but we don't have a whole lot going on with it. Like, we have three really good green cards, and then the rest are whatever. <laughs> and then this pack has nothing good in green. Not really anything good in red. Nothing good in black. <clears throat> like, what do I even do with this pack? Besides, like, take a card I'm probably not even going to be running. Um. I mean, I guess I have enough red that the Shore Strike is the better card here. There's an Arena now. Alright. If we... There is also, as I'm putting the green cards down, there is an Elvish Regrower who is... Also very strong. The problem is that Tiny Bones and Phyrexian Arena do not go well together. Tiny Bones is a mana sink, and Phyrexian Arena is giving me tons to do with my mana. So, that's a bit of a non-bow. I could legit take the regrower here, and it would be fine. <sighs> kind of all over the place. I'm going to need to make a decision at some point in time. Oh, there's a bite down now. Alright. I think maybe the burglar rat was a questionable pick. Sh shut up. Stop it. Stop. Stop messing with me after I've already made a decision. Just taking giant growth here, then, or do I actually take like vengeful blood witch or like legitimately another burglar out to make tiny bones a lot better? Because now I'm like a couple of black removal spells away from black green being better than black red or green red. I'm taking the pick because I might actually need it to make treasure here. <sighs> Three fanatical firebrands is a bit much. I'm in red. Alright, so what happens if I get rid of the red? What does the deck look like? I only have Bite Down and Fake Your Own Death for interaction at that point. <sighs> eh? I do this, I need to find, like, a bake or a, um... 
Hero's downfall pretty early in pack three. Otherwise, I'm going to be really hurting for the Incinerating Blast, the Raider, and even the Firebrands. <clears throat> like, Firebrands being able to pick off problematic one or two toughness creatures, potentially. A pair of them. Or by, you know, playing a second one post-combat. You know, after they've gone through all the trouble of blocking and thinking that their guy is safe. Wilfer does get better with Tiny Bones, but still pretty weak. I think I'd take the Katana. Well, now I wish I took the Pilfer. Um, Alright, give me the Wardens. Warden's too strong. Give me all the Jungle Hollow if I'm lucky. Who am I drafting with this time? Oh, wait. Um, no, no black removal, so we're going to have to take the bite down here. Not that we're losing out on anything. Like, it's literally Sanguine Siphoner and nothing else. If we had stuck with the red-green, we get Ruby. Try and wheel the other incinerating blast. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, Wary Thespian sucks a little bit to lose, especially when we have two bite downs, but... Straight up Hero's Downfall is way too strong here. That is a fourth pick Cranko. Are you kidding me? And I have two Firebrands, and the Goblin Surprise, and a Removal Spell, and a Combat Trick, and... and I don't even know how to build this deck right now. <laughs> like, I legit have no idea how I'm building this deck right now, but I'm definitely taking Cranko because that's insane. Um, take Lalamore Elves... Now take Wary Thespian, because I need creatures that can bite down. To go with my two bite down, since I might be losing all of my black here. I'm not taking the goblin thing. Goblin thing's not good. Um, like, it's so hard to make goblins with it, too. Thespian again. It's also possible I'm supposed to be um, black-red with Cranko. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, great. It auto-picked for me. I have two spiders. Oh, my God. Freaking Cranko. Um, it might not even be correct to run Cranko. Like, it's Cranko... Franco unchecked just wins the game by himself. So it's very, very tempting right now to try and jam him in here. I'm not running that vampire anyway, so I'm taking that. The pilfer. Yeah, no. Alright, so technically I have a black green deck. I was not fast enough evaluating to figure out if I need to take the red card there or not, so... One, two, three... Four, five... Six, seven, eight... And a dual land... In red-green... Six, seven, eight... Nine, ten... Oh, I'm sure of playable right now in my black green deck. Oh my god. Yeah, no, this is this is so bad. Uh 
So if I switched over to green red, I actually need to come up with three more playables after putting in literally every red card I have up there. So that would be like the two katanas and the two one where I go down a land and put in one katana and the two one land fetcher. And then I have double bite down Cranko that I can ramp into. I'm not even kidding. Cranko is that powerful. That I am seriously considering this. All right, I need to see what Cranko, what the Cranko build actually looks like. Need to add in one more card and take out like a forest here. Oh no, I need to add in two more cards because I'm at 17 land. And then I need to decide if I'm taking out a forest here and adding in another card. I could also technically leave this in and run a swamp and... Jungle Hollow and this idiot. right now we're doing this and this uh, that leaves me with two bite downs with like wary thespians spiders some top end big green guys like I have I have no three drops this Lion War Elf is trying to get me to four mana um That's not entirely true, but he's that's basically what's happening here. The black is worse, right? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So yeah, I have to run every black card, including the pilfer. Which would let me take a spell away from them for um, killing Cranko potentially. Is this better? Still have to run the campus guide, which is frustrating. Two drop. But now I'm not even getting the benefit out of being able to splash something. The deck is a little slower and grindier. I don't have other things. Also, I don't have any four powers. This is literally a two two for two. Most of the time, I have like one creature, two creatures that will make him a 3-2 menace. <clears throat> I could also splash the green and get, like, the two spiders in there, because I have two different green dual lands and I could put one forest in the deck. Then I don't have to run some of the worst cards. That does make the campus guide better, too, if I'm Doing that, like, if we just lose the pill for if we go one, two, do, like, the two spiders. We have a forest, then we have three green sources to activate the spiders with, plus the gold vein pick. And one of them is fetchable. <clears throat> that still lets us run Cranko.
Unfortunately, this is double green. If this were double black, single green, we would definitely run this also. Yeah, okay. I did this to myself, but I think this is <clears throat> the best that I can do with what I have now. Cranko is just so incredibly powerful. If you cannot kill Cranko immediately, you are going to lose to him. And the deck has enough other random goblins in it that that's actually an immediate threat, not a just, oh, hey, wouldn't it be nice if we got to, like, Cranko mana here? <clears throat> and then, you know, in, like, three turns, he was making enough goblins. No, he's immediately enough goblins. So. <clears throat> Alright, Tiny Bones. Ah, I'm getting Reverse Burglar routed now. Um. Okay, you can, you can have my trick. Um. Right, let's actually get the pick online first and start generating mana. I was going to say, you are not chumping with your 1-1 one -one here. <clears throat> there is a chance they kill Tiny Bones now with the kill a top creature. Nope, oh, okay, cool. Alright, well, let's burglar at. See what they give me to work with. And double check Tiny Bones, see how he works. Okay. Now I get to play a Swamp. I think I just wait here. High Bones is technically holding off the 3 3, and Fake Your Own Death will let me get another card out of him eventually. They attack or use a removal spell first. Yeah, I cannot block you fast enough here, because whatever you're going to use to pump. Alright, cool. So now we go... Make your own death. Kill Tiny Bones. Comes back. Um... Yeah. Let's just start taking cards from them. Ah, neat. Now I have a 4-drop to work with. Um... Buff up the rat so that it holds off the other two creatures. Here we. Next turn we get to cast their zombie, eat their graveyard, drain them for a little bit of life. Alright, flyer's a little dangerous, but. We don't get to drain them for any life. Um, because it has to be up to exile up to two creature cards from a single graveyard. Alright. Yep. Now we're in a lot of trouble, because now they have a bit too much air pressure for me. Hey, well, taking their last card. Play their land. Yeah, I'm just going to be dead in three turns in the air now. <clears throat> and they can cast everything they draw, so... Really need to draw a downfall or something there. Buy me more time. Because this can't block at all, so. It's not like I can even run it out and just threaten there. 
And unfortunately, that's basically going to do it. <clears throat> yep. Yeah, we're just cold to the flyers here. I guess I could have activated Tiny Bones the other turn, but then they would have just given me, like, the Swamp or the Cathar Commando, whatever they had in their hand, and still played out the Sarah Angel next turn, because I would have hit a land drop. Uh... Is there anything I can draw here that would let me win this game? I don't think so. Like, I can block their guy, and it's kind of whatever here. Well, that was unfortunate. Yeah, if I have drawn the spider on a previous turn, then I would have been okay, because then they would have needed to have something, and they can't have something, because Tiny Bones won't let them have something, so... Okay, they can have something in that they can top deck it and cast it immediately, but past that. Uh, well, there's the spider. And it's very medium. Yeah, I could have drawn the spider, and the spider would have held them off in theory. Right, let's get the burglar rat down first. We can play the. Jungle Hollow next turn if we don't draw a 3-drop. We suddenly need to cast. What was that? Self-reflection. Oh good, I gave them a... Like, two mana discount on their spell. Perfect. Um... Alright, I do not mind trading for Cathar Commando or half of their 1-1 uh, one, one Resolute Reinforcements. Or their 2-1, for that matter. Yep, they have one of the 2-1s. Okay. Is fine and dandy by me. Not gonna try and hold off my rat here. Okay, let's cast Juggernaut, see what they do. If they resolute re or not resolute, um, refute him. And I'm not blocking with the 1 1 because any spell will just let them eat the rat. I'm also not blocking with the Juggernaut, but by all means, rumble away with your 2-1. I will take the damage. If they cast the other thing pre-combat, that's even better for me. Now nah, they're going to do something in Juggernaut, looks like. Ah, no. They are trying to figure out what they are doing here because I have the Juggernaut and I'm about to attack with it. Well, bust attack. He knows no other way. Okay. Spider online. Unfortunately, we can't macabre waltz and recast one of our four drops unless we draw another land, because I'm going to want to discard the land to it, most likely. Alright. Or we can discard that. That seems low enough impact here. Um, actually, yeah. Um, so they would have to double block in order to get um, the two for one. Yeah. Mm. I could also tutor for the forest so I can double activate. Seems a little bit not great though. Then hold the swamp for uh, Macabre Waltz. Two, three, one, two. 
Because double activating lets the Burglar Rat or the Campus Guide attack into them next turn, too. Okay. We still have the Macabre Waltz if they kill my things. Oof. That's a little rough, because that just gained them nine life, or no, six life. Can't math. And now they have that thing as a thing they can copy. Uh, Alright, play out the forest. Send the Juggernaut in. Team. Okay. We'll take our tempo advantage here. That, but yeah, they just spend four mana and make, you know, three more bodies. That's assuming they have nothing else going on. Now, granted, you know, it's just a whole bunch of bodies on the ground, and my spider bricks all of their stuff right now, so... can only get this uh, Juggernaut up to 6 toughness here. So, yeah, I think this is just attack with the Juggernaut. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Spider. Grow. Grow. So now that just eats one of their knights if they attack. Then we'll start growing the burglar rat next. Maybe we just trade burglar rat off and macabre waltz it and the juggernaut back if they attack here. I'm trying to figure out what this is exactly. The armor doesn't kill my spider. The Sunblessed Cleric gets back um, based on casting costs, not power. Um, yeah. I don't know what this is, but I'm okay trading with that for right this second. Now they play a swamp and get it back? Oh, it was just a raid trigger. Okay. Just a raid trigger. Make them discard a card. Put a counter on the spider so it still holds off the 4-3. Uh, discarded Sarah Angel. Okay. Yeah, where is Tiny Bones now? They have a grip full of cards. We could force them to go empty-handed. Alright, technically that will allow their guy to attack for a turn, but only their one guy gets to attack here, so. And it's not what I needed. Now we get to play out the land and grow the spider. Everybody's back out of range again. 
Did they just, just, oh, they discard an Angel of Finality. Still, still kind of bad, especially when I have black mana. Uh, you know, take what we can get here. Yeah, that's pretty good. Five mana divination. They have discarded two large flyers, though, which my spider is the only thing that can stand against everything else that they're doing, so... If they find a removal spell for the spider, we just die. But in the meantime... Hey, let's cast the Juggernaut. Counters on the Juggernaut. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, okay. Legit to me. In the meantime, the Juggernaut holds off the, like, if the 4-4 rumbles, the 6-5 can get in front of it. Yeah, don't look at my spider like that. Okay, that's fine. Oh, wait, no, it's not, because they get a cat for every one of them, right? Oh, no, once per turn, they get a cat. That's still going to be more than enough, though, to hold off the Juggernaut for forever. Uh, all right, well... Oh. Priority for their food activation, and hopefully nothing else. Okay. Right. <clears throat> I just want to make sure that if they're trading for the Juggernaut, they're trading a lot for the Juggernaut here. Yeah, that's fine. If I get to trade with two of their things here, for a Juggernaut I got back in exchange for a land... After I made them discard with the thing? Yeah, no. Oh. Well, that'll probably kill me here. What do they have to get back? Oh, they have nothing, actually. They have Refute. Well, if I don't block here, I'm just going to die. Because that's five damage, and then I block next turn... Yep. <clears throat> uh, now I need to find my other spider immediately. That's not my other spider. So we take three, four, five, six, seven in the air, and eight, nine on the ground. Yeah, we're just dead here. Ah, oh, that sucks. <clears throat> Also, the Joust through now has flashback, so... I guess technically what I'm doing here... Yep. So, we trade with the crazy cat lady to get her to stop. We trade with one of the cats, and I take three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, go to five... They have seven power worth of flyers. I have no board presence. Yeah, my opponent is at 40, and I've drawn another land. Okay, that's great. <sighs> I know the deck's not good, but this is just very disheartening. Where was Cranko like 80 turns ago? They had no interaction for Cranko. If I had just drawn that man um, while the Spire was holding everything off, I don't think we could lose there.
Okay, I'm back. Turn one, run out our two two. Um. Yeah, I don't think we bother with the mana efficiency right this second. We go for the fast damage and then figure it out from there. Well, given their relatively slow start with two top lands, I am very, very inclined to just... Just kill their wow more elves here before they can do anything about it. Then we're gonna goblin surprise into Krenko, which is the ultimate goblin surprise. And we'll see if they can kill him or not. If they can't, then we should be able to win the game pretty quickly. If they can then that's just par for the course with how this draft is going to go. Okay, it looks like their deck might have been a worse train wreck than mine. Oh, and we can even buy back Kranko when he dies? That's... That's awesome. Alright. And now they go Mountain Slide Storm. Nope. Oh, hey, we played Kranko and we won a game. Because they couldn't kill him. What are the odds? The odds are 100%. Is that our first win with the deck? That is our first win. The only one where Krenko showed up, our opponent already had a not good draw. <sighs> it's fine. We can just win a few more. I drink the last of my soda from lunch. Well, that is all three of our colors and tiny bones and a spider, so I'm going to keep this and hope. I am going to need another land for this spider, but... Okay. And to activate Tiny Bones. I'm uh, going to flash in a 3-1 now. Or... No? Okay. Cool. <clears throat> they have Giant Growth then. I played a creature. I think I'm okay with Tiny Bones wandering off. I think that's fine here. A little sad that I don't have anything for turn 3, but... Alright, and my opponent has nothing for turn four, so they have nothing but removal spells in their hand. <clears throat> mm. Well, joke's on them. I got a free 1-1 one -one out of that, so... Also, put a creature in my graveyard specifically. Um, yeah, I think we just grab that back while the grabbing's good. Do they have the wolf? No? Okay, good. <clears throat> I was gonna say, I think they would have played the wolf at some point in time before now. They had it, so. I feel like this opponent just did not have a good draw either. So we're going to take this win if we can. It's not guaranteed. They still have four cards in their hand, and they could have any number of spells here. I'm not holding up Fake Your Own Death because my land comes in tapped. I do have a second spider, and the second spider will hold up Fake Your Own Death. I cast it. Or they can just keep banishing my stuff. Okay.
I mean, it's good that they had the banish on the turn where I wasn't holding up fake your own death. So that way, this way I am now. We'll just pass so that way they don't know I have the land and could have activated the spider. Alright, they already need to kill the vampire and the spider, so... Start buffing the token they gave me. Yep, that's fine. Alright, now they know I'm holding up something, but I'm still holding it up. Literally nothing but reactionary spells here. Alright. They have the wrath, we have Goblin Surprise and Shore Strike, so. Yeah, that is not doing anything here. <clears throat> yeah, Authority is only good, like, turn one or two, and after that, it just falls off super hard, and you have to be able to capitalize on it. Like, if your opponent's creatures are coming into play tapped and you're gaining life and you're not doing anything else, then that's essentially a dead card still. Um, but if their creatures are coming into play tapped so they can't block properly, and you can just keep wailing on them for a few extra turns, and it's gaining you life, um, then it's actually okay, and that's like... That's literally everything coming together all at once to make your mediocre card... something good, so... Yeah, it's jam for two. Some tiny bones. God, I love tiny bones. Like, just the character in general. I absolutely adore this silly little skeleton. Are you gonna be. You are being rude to tiny bones. Unbelievable. The absolute gall of some people. It's because your blue red reactionary spells doesn't mean you have to murder tiny bones. Or three color jank, I guess. It's what you are now. Uh, that might be one swamp too many, but we'll see. We'll attack for two. And then I'll choose not to do anything. Okay. I just wanted to see if they would block or not, because there's plenty of like red and black tricks I could have there where they would just lose their Cyclops. So. Okay. And we're going to be mean to my guy? Okay. Well, fortunately I can fake your own death on the spider now to get it back. So, that's okay. I'm gonna have to sack the firebrand though to finish off their cyclops here after using Fake Your Own Death on my spider. Assuming that that even works out. We'll see. Okay, so what we do is we go block and block, like this. Do what they want to do first. Okay, so we are going to hit our spider up. And 
deal this thing a point. They're topped out, so there's nothing they can do here, and their guy doesn't have trample, it's already blocked, so. Buys back our spider and gives us a second red mana for um, Cranko if we find him. Or they can just keep putting my spider into witness protection. Okay, I'm just putting pressure on their life total now. Because this thing is very close to just killing them now. Okay. I don't want this thing blocking, so I'm just going to kill it now. See if they do anything in response. Because I will heroes downfall their Cyclops if they block and cast a spell here. Or I will kill the High Fae Trickster. That, that also works. Because that thing's just a huge problem for me anyway. Okay. Uh, I hold that because we do have um, the Cobwalts in the deck. Hey, okay. that's annoying. So that has a whole lot of those now, potentially. Now they flash it back, the other two become three power creatures and attack me. And then, like, any spell threatens to kill me after this. And for good measure, there's a Brazen Scourge. So they only have the 104 back to block. Um, this is 9 damage though, and I really don't want to take 9. The problem is I want to put the spider in the graveyard, so... I just take 6 here. That's fine for right now. Let's me discard a swamp in order to look for a better card. And we found a much better card. Alright. Yeah, we might be too far behind. If they brick on drawing an instant or sorcery here or whatever. Technically I'm okay. Oh, never mind, they didn't brick. They kill me, in fact. Like the Kai card was completely irrelevant, because. Yeah, now they just hit me for 10. Okay. Uh, that's gonna do it. No. No, not really. Like, it was a fine game. Perfectly reasonable. But... Would not say I had fun. Uh, another 2 and 3... Alright, I think I take a bit of a break, and I'll be back on drafting later, probably, but for right now, I think that's good enough, so thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Have a good rest of your day.